the 0-2. Another strikeout as down he goes. And Andy Ravel does a good job. He does give up the one run, but then toughens up and gets the next three. It was a great day to respond after, you know, them splitting the series up yesterday. For us to come out the way we did and, and put some numbers up today offensively, it was outstanding. Andy Ravel threw really well today, um, especially facing a little adversity in those first two innings. A couple odd runs that happened, that, you know, I thought there was a ball that should have been caught in right center and, and uh, it wasn't to start off the game, but uh, he minimized and really settled in and gave us really seven strong innings and pitch, pitch a well of a ball game. And the two strike pitch. Strike three called, he zipped it under the inside corner. Under the arms of Call, he's out looking. That is a perfect location for the second out. First two innings, it didn't really go our way. A couple of bad breaks here and there, but it's had a battle through that. It's, Every pitcher will have those days and just uh, getting ahead of the hitters, uh, getting strike one, strike two, and then uh, doing what I do down in the strike zone and making them swing at balls that they may not want to swing at. So it all worked out. Experience kind of came into it. Um, I've been there before uh, battling, you know, uh, when things aren't going your way, you just you can't get down because it's going to get worse. So you just got to keep going through it. The pitch, got him, swinging and missing. It's an 0 for 12 weekend to forget for Jarrett Reinflesh. Six to two, Flash is on top. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Six to two, Flash is in the eighth. Now the pitch, swung on and crushed to left field. Chasing back Tyler, he can't get that one. Hits the base of the wall, then it's not fielded cleanly. Around third comes Olvey. He's going to try to score, and he slides safely into the plate with a run number seven. Our, you know, our offense is very confident right now. It's a very good offense. I think it's, you know, one of the best offenses in the MAC and, and probably the region. They're really growing as an offense. It's getting better and better every week. Um, you know, we got off of our plan a little bit yesterday, but they did an excellent job in staying patient and staying resilient to our plan today and really having some big time days. Sawyer Poland had a big day. Zarly Zaleski had a big day. Luca Fuscardo, the balance in our lineup right now is outstanding and we're getting a lot of production one through nine, which is, which is really, really good to see. Rosa's coming around, he scores! And down to the canvas go the Cardinals. The knockout blow has been delivered. You know, it's always it's always big to win games, um, especially against Ball State because they are pretty pretty much our rival um, in the MAC. They uh, they swing it well, they pitch it well, they feel it well, um, and to get two out, two out of three from them, it was a uh, very quality baseball that we played. Well, it's always good to win, and it's always fun to win. Uh, we had a little streak going on there. And I mean, it, it doesn't really change anything. It's just, all right, we got six, and let's get seven. And we got seven, let's get eight. Um, so just taking it one game at a time and not really focusing on streaks and, and stuff like that. Um, just coming come to the ballpark every day and, and playing, playing hard. Spangler's pitch up the middle. Another chance for Del Porto. The flip will end it. Cardinals gave it a go in the last of the ninth, but the Golden Flashes five run eighth is the difference. And the Golden Flashes win two out of three and send Ball State to its first series loss in two seasons. The final score of this one, Kent State 11, Ball State 7.